Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over another example for the photoelectric effect. Before we get started, please don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Subscribe to my channel, Step by Step Science, by clicking in that bottom right hand corner, that red icon, and don't forget to click on the bell and get notifications for whenever I post new material to my channel. I've also made several other videos for an explanation of the photoelectric effect and also some other example problems which you can link to in the upper right hand corner when you click on that little I up there in the right hand corner, those will come up and you can link to those also. But in this video, this is the problem we're going to be working on. It says, what is the minimum frequency and wavelength of light needed to emit an electron from a plate of metal that has a work function of 4.83 electron volts? Now, as I said before, before I get started with all these problems, I like to, the first thing I'd like to do is just draw a little diagram. Help me to get myself organized, gives me a minute to figure out what's going on. So I draw my metal plate. This is my metal plate. This is my incoming light, my incoming photons, and these are my ejected photons. Now it says in the problem that the work function for this metal plate is 4.83 electron volts, so I might just write that down like that. Then it says, what is the minimum frequency and wavelength of light? So that's this incoming light, these incoming photons of light, and we want to know what is the frequency needed to emit an electron from that plate. And it does say here the minimum frequency and the minimum wavelength. So all we want to do is eject those electrons, and really what that means is we don't want to give them or we don't want them to have any kinetic energy. So we're going to assume that they will have zero electron volts of kinetic energy. All right, that's how you set that problem up when it says the minimum frequency. All we want to do is kick those out, the minimum amount of energy you need to kick those out without giving them any kinetic energy. So here's the equation that we use. It says that the kinetic energy is equal to the energy in the light, HF, Planck's constant times the frequency, minus the work function. Now, as we said, the kinetic energy is zero, so we're just going to set that to zero. That makes that term go away, and we want to solve for the frequency. So now we have the work function is equal to h times the frequency. We want to solve for the frequency. That means the frequency is the work function divided by Planck's constant. So we can plug those values in. Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. Now the work function is energy, and we have joule seconds, Planck's constant in joule seconds. And we want to put this energy in here for the work function, but in order to cancel the energy, this is joules and this is electron volts, we first have to convert the electron volts for the work function into joules. And we know that one electron volt is 1 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So now my electron volts will cancel, and I'll be left with 7.73 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Okay, these two energy values are equivalent. It's just that in order to put this in here so that we can cancel our joules and be left with frequency in seconds or one over seconds or hertz, then we get that that is 1.17 times 10 to the 15 hertz. Okay, that is the frequency for that light. That'll just kick out as enough energy that will just kick out those electrons. All right. Now we want to also find out, it said the wavelength. So we're going to use this equation to find the wavelength C, which is the speed of light in a vacuum, is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. All right. And this is the symbol lambda. This is for the wavelength. We want to solve for the wavelength. We know the frequency. We got that in the previous slide. C is the speed of light. It's given. So we know the wavelength is equal to C divided by F. And that means the wavelength is C, which is speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, divided by the frequency, the frequency we found on the previous page, 1.17 times 10 to the 15 hertz. This is like 1 over s. That'll cancel with this 1 over s, and that'll be left with meters, and that's 2.56 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. And we're talking about light in the general visible spectrum range. This is actually just outside the visible spectrum because it's about less than 300 or 350 nanometers. That turns out to be 256 nanometers. Okay, so that is the amount of energy, the frequency and the wavelength for the corresponding energy that has just enough energy to kick those electrons out without giving them any uh, uh, kinetic energy. Zero electron volts of kinetic energy. Okay, so there you go. That was a nice, quick example. I think it's a little interesting when it says minimum frequency. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video and leave me a comment. Those help me out a lot. Please take the time. Thumbs up, comment right down there, not too hard. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all your friends. Show them just how much you care. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.